Good morning. November 21st, Saturday. A little overcast here in the DC area. Also, just to let you know, when I date these, it's not necessarily um, energy reports based on the day. It's really based on when you actually hear it, if it's meant for you. So the importance of grounding. Oh my goodness. I am such a preacher of grounding, grounding, grounding because it fully puts you in your body, in your conscious mind. So your awareness is more alert versus the subconscious mind where it's on basically autopilot, right? It's, um, it's playing a recording of routines every day to you. And um, when you get into your conscious mind, you have to uh, deliberately create. And that's really the energy flow in which we're moving to and grounding is such a, a critical part of that. So when you're really truly in your body, you think and feel your responses versus a reaction, okay? So ungroundedness, let's just take me for example. So when the energy's shifting a lot and I didn't take a minute or two to ground, um, like for example, just even in the last three or four days. So I get up and I'll hear a pitch in my ears. Um, I'll acknowledge it, say thank you, because I, I know what that, that is. And then I may get up and start doing something. And then I can't find something, but it's right in front of my face. Um, I'll trip over something and yet I knew it was there. Um, I'll clip a wall with my shoulder or my elbow. Um, yesterday, I literally, it was cold and windy. And so I put on two pairs of leggings um, and two pairs of socks and bundled up in my hiking boots with several layers on top. Only to understand within the hour that my underwear was inside out. Now, did I beat myself up over it and did I take off all my layers so that I could turn them the other way? No, I just laughed at myself and said, okay, all right, let me get out in nature. Let me stop my feet a little bit let me go sit on a park bench and let me close my eyes and truly, truly go within. You don't want to be ungrounded when you're driving. You don't want to be ungrounded even when you're eating because you'll choke or you don't digest things properly. You don't want to be ungrounded when you're uh, doing a project, whether it be work or something else. You don't want to be ungrounded when you're parenting because you just you just do things off the cuff. It's all reactionary. You know, it's all it's all subconscious feeding things. So being grounded places you in the conscious mind and you take responsibility for responses, okay? And um Right now, with so much shifting and things going on, it's really important that you don't uh, trip up the steps or down the steps or, you know, hurt yourself or hurt somebody else with your words, with your bodily actions, whatever. All right? So get grounded. See you on the next video. Bye.